Last week, government officials and five major banks reached a settlement over the bank's deceptive foreclosure practices. It's a $25 billion settlement with about $1.5 billion coming to San Diego County. Joining me to talk about what that means to homeowners here are Vino Panor, President and Executive Director of Housing Opportunities Collaborative, and Matt Batiata, CEO of the Batiata Real Estate Group. In the interest of full disclosure, the Batiata Group has been an underwriter of KPBS. Thank you both for being here. I want to begin with you, Matt. First of all, how will this money be divided with regard to um, reduction of principal and also as compensation for those who were for foreclosed on? Right. Well, there's up to up to twenty thousand dollars for principal write downs for about a million homeowners. Now, that's na on a national level. So, there's about if you're upside down in your home, you could qualify to get a twenty thousand dollar principal write down. Um, the other thing is, if you've already gone through foreclosure. The bank will compensate you. I think it's up to two thousand dollars if you were illegally foreclosed on, and then the rest of this money is really going to be used for uh, debt write-offs in short sales. That's where we expect really most of that twenty-five billion dollars to to go write-offs from the banks when they do short sales. Now let's go back to the twenty thousand dollar principal reduction. We know mm -hmm. what house prices are like here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. That doesn't seem like a whole lot. No, the average homeowner on a national basis, just keep in mind who's upside down, is upside down by about 60000 Here in San Diego, that number is much, much higher. It's probably at least 100000 So a $20,000 principal reduction, while it's nice, is not going to make anybody stay in a home that they, you know, that they wouldn't have stayed in. So it's kind of a drop in the bucket. Vino, do we know who's going to be eligible for these uh, programs? Um, as far as the those homeowners who have been illegally foreclosed on, we kind of have the numbers. It's between January 1st, 2008 to December 31st, 2011. But those who benefit out of a refinance or a short sale, as that ma Matt had mentioned, we don't have the nitty-gritty eligibility requirements. Uh, the banks uh, have been tasked to come up with that but it's going to be a while before these banks start coming up with these processes and also implementing them. So uh, as far as uh, we know, uh, some of the requirements are public knowledge, right? Now it's, uh, we have, you have to have an interest rate that is over 5.25, over and above 5.25 to be eligible for uh, refinance under the program. Uh, you should have, I mean, if you, in order to get some benefits out of some of these write-downs, you should have had certain issues in the past or you should have been having a, 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 de a delinquency payment in the past. So there's a lot of requirements that are there, but we do not know the exact details about it. It's still being worked out as we speak. Matt, you mentioned in terms of that short sale. So in other words, you're underwater and the bank lets you sell your house for less for than what you owe. whatever market value is correct. So who benefits from this settlement in terms of absorbing that loss? Is it the bank well, or the, the homeowner? The banks are going to absorb that loss and they're going to use, that's the whole idea is this settlement is the part of the, a lot of this $25 billion is going to go towards write-offs. Now these are write-offs that the banks would probably be doing anyway. So it goes back to the bank? Correct. The write yeah. yeah, the banks were writing off the money. Now in a lot of cases the bank is just the servicer. There's investors that own this money. So um, in most cases, when you do, when you have your lender, you send a payment into, that is the servicer. It's not their money. They're not the investor. There's an investor behind them, from the stock market, for example, that actually owns that loan that that you really owe the money to. In a short sale, the bank is the the investor is writing off the deficiency, and so that's. That's a short sale. Vino, you know, have you been getting a lot of calls already at your office? Yes, we have been, and we've been getting calls regarding well, am I eligible? Where can I find details about whether I'm eligible or not? I I think I have been foreclosed on illegally. Where do I file a complaint? So we have been advising uh, these homeowners or those callers to to take the time off on a Saturday to come to our home clinics where we have HUD approved housing counseling agencies, housing counselors who can do an assessment for free because they are not supposed to be charging a homeowner. It's all free. We have pro bono attorneys from the San Diego County Bar and other minority bars here and the state bar who are licensed in the state bar who can see whether you have an uh, option to file a complaint with the AG's office. Uh, the AG wants to take these complaints from these homeowners so that they can make an assessment whether these particular homeowners who have been close, uh, been foreclosed on between those eligible periods have a claim against these banks. Before we go, Matt, quickly, in, in your view, is this going to help stabilize the housing market here in San Diego? No. Absolutely. I don't think it's going to have any impact on the market in San Diego because here in San Diego County, we've got between 35 and 50 percent of the homes are upside down. 
and you've got a huge number of people that are in a home that are homes that are upside down and they can't afford. They've all got to get out of these homes. There's a huge number of people here in San Diego that owe at the peak levels from say 2004, 2005, and until the market bottoms out and then comes all the way back up to those peak prices, which is going to take quite a while. Until these people get out of all these homes that they can't afford, the market really can't stabilize. You know, this is this. $25 billion settlement, again, while it sounds like a lot of money, is not going to have a real huge impact because it's going to continue to, the banks are going to continue to do lots of short sales. They're going to, that's their alternative to foreclosure. I don't expect to see them doing anything significant in the way of modifications because they, they don't have any interest in doing that. Matt Badietta, uh, Vino Pajanor, thank you so much both for being here. Thank you.